Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Um, my name is Gina, and uh, welcome to this channel. If this is your first time coming to this YouTube channel, I want to say thank you. Um, and uh, tonight, I would like to talk about more about third eye opening. Okay, I know I dropped some videos before about the third eye opening, and uh, you might come to this video is because of my first uh, third eye opening video. <laughs> And I have a, um, how to say that, playlist of uh, third eye opening uh, on this channel. So go check it out. And uh, my personal uh, detailed third eye opening experience and some updates, some things that I personally think that uh, um, help me and uh, some realization awareness that I share with you. So definitely check that out. But tonight, I want to do another update of third eye opening, okay? Because I think it's really important because now you have the awareness, right? You are witnessing yourself. You see how you changing, shifting. You are just watching yourself. You are witness. You're just like watching yourself when things come in and you see it coming. It's just like in the matrix, Neo, right? Has a bullet come in. You see each bullet. Now, in this process, the more you practice that, the fun it gets and um what i'm what i'm saying is before it's like a slow mode you, you uh or you it take you a little bit while to knowing that the bullets is coming and sometime you did not really catch the bullets until the bullets is right here you're like literally stop right here <laughs> And sometimes the bullets is a little bit further away and further away and further away. And uh, that's one thing. The second thing is when your third eye open to a certain level, you know, you are kind of like, get like a little bit, I don't want to say you get sick of your own self, but in a good way, in a fun way. It's like different parts of you are just have the conversation. It's like, they're like, hey, Gina, uh, yeah, great awareness, right? You you have this awareness. And uh, somehow, you still kind of partially fall into the same scenario on a different level. Because there are still something, still some attachment, you have it. And... Uh, that little attachment, whatever it got you in, universe knows that you has not yet completed that lesson. And they want you to complete that lesson completely. So they will present the similar situation again and again until one day you're like, seriously, again. I already see it last time. I see this clearly, more clear this time. And it's even clearer this time and uh, one day you're like okay <laughs> i got it i don't need to go in anymore and i think that this process of sharpen your awareness until you make peace with yourself until you totally free yourself and find that peace sooner every time is sooner right now, one time people ask me, do you understand a spiritual alignment? I really want to say no. But then I realized that there's no straight the answer of yes or no. What I'm saying is actually I really want to kind of share with this person is I'm always in and out, in and out. Um, you get enlightened. At that moment, then once you realize you got enlightened, which means you already started another journey of their part of a thing that you, you, you try to figure out another thing, right? And until you reach to, so which means you lost and found it are two same things, okay? Uh, you know, uh, are two things from different coins. So you can't always stay at the enlightenment state. Um, because why? Is you are in the human body. So human body designed for you to learn things, for you to keep 
expanding, keep exploring, keep gathering the data, keep running the tests. So once you get certain things to get in line, you have this aha moment, you understand, and then you will have another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, until you reach to the capacity of this human body, uh, human vessel. Then you leave this vessel. Um, then that's a total different story of uh, what happens after people die. But I think it's very interesting. I want to come back to, you know, share uh, about another level of uh, the third eye opening is, you know, before I shared it before, it's like you cannot lie to yourself, right? But the thing is, yes, you cannot really lie, lie, lie to yourself. Just because you know that you are lying to yourself doesn't mean you still don't do the thing that you know that's not good for you. Does it make sense? Um, so... Now, another level, I just realized that, yes, yeah, I don't want to delay anything anymore. I do not want to have this 1% of uh, the hope or 1% of that I want to slip away. I want to ignore it or I want to take care of later. No, I want to take care of right now because I know that everything will be okay. And I know that that's what I really want to do because sometimes... You know that yet you know that you're not supposed to be in that relationship for whatever reason. You're like, ah, oh, let me give another three days or five days or two months or three months. That moment, you already know your intuition already told you that's not a good idea. Just like I said it, even though you know that's not a good idea, you still went in, is it? So, the, which means there's still some this residual energy that you have not yet taken care of. Until one day you got that red flag. It's just like when you see the red light, when you see stop sign, you will have no hesitation, but stop. That's the mastery. So your third eye opening um, is helping you to reach to the self mastery, not other people. It's you. It's all about you. Hope that makes sense. And I'm going to post right now. <laughs> I love you guys.